Walter Wangerin, The Book of God, Wednesday. By sunrise on Wednesday, Judas had made up his mind. He resolved to accept confusion no more. He did not understand Jesus, but he could take matters into his own hands and create the clarity that he and the times required. Everything that Judas had foreseen was coming to pass. Multitudes had gathered in the holy city, intense with anticipation. They were like dry kindling waiting for the flame. That flame must be some precipitating act by his master. But Jesus was not acting. Perhaps Judas himself could trigger that act. Clearly, the revolutionary power lay with Jesus of Nazareth. It was Jesus whom the people had extolled as Messiah just three days ago. And then Jesus had exhibited a divine wrath in the temple, bold in opposing the authority, mighty in his miracles, absolutely transporting in his rhetoric. Jesus had to be the Messiah. Perhaps these latter hours he had become a reluctant Messiah, but no one else fulfilled prophecy as he did. Therefore, Judas had descended not to plumb the reluctance, but rather to force the Lord into action. He would arrange a confrontation from which Jesus could not withdraw except by openly displaying his messianic power. Judas would bring the enemies of Jesus directly to him, yes, and to his disciples too. When the enemies attempted to attack both him and those whom he loved, the Lord would have no choice but to take up his royal power and reveal himself as the anointed one, the king. On Wednesday morning then, Judas presented himself to the chief priests and the captains of the temple and said, You've given orders that anyone who knows where Jesus of Nazareth is must come and tell you. We have, said the chief priests, and I suppose you wish to arrest him somewhere apart from the multitudes? Continue. Well, I can lead you to him when he's in a private and an unprotected place. They said, but you're not a stranger to us, sir. We know that you are one of his disciples. Why would you betray your own master to us? Judas replied immediately, For money, he said. Pay me and I'll do it. Pay me enough and I'll do it soon. The chief priests acted exactly as Judas thought they would. This part of the plan worked very well. In order to bind him to themselves, they weighed out 30 pieces of silver then and there and poured it all into a bag that Judas had brought for that purpose. Let's pray. Lord, as we journey through this week, be close to us. As we contemplate all that is going on in the world around us, be close to us. As we contemplate your own steps, one in front of the other, towards the cross, be close to us. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Guide us, protect us and deliver us. Enable us to trust you in even the darkest of times. And bless us as we pursue you and seek to honour you. For we ask it in your name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.